So here's here's the deal: is that we we live in a time of tribalism. I'm doing this problem with the cough. I have no notes here. Right. But here's here's what I've identified as a problem: we live in a time of tribalism. And uh, guys who see other guys repeating their same political opinions and viewpoints or whatever else, yeah, yeah. Uh, for some reason you start to think if somebody holds the same sort of political viewpoints as you, uh -huh. that it's kind of just an extension of yourself. Of you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You go, well, hold on. Me and that guy agree about the government. We agree about Ukraine. Yeah. We agree we hate all this trans shit. Yeah, and therefore, yeah. we're basically the same, the same guy. guy. That's my guy. That's our guy. Right. So there's a guy, Dr. Disrespect, okay? Yeah. And he's a guy that I think a lot of people- He did a little bit of grooming. Did a little, well, little bit well, of, well, 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 hold on, grooming. hold on. So he start, he's a guy and he's a man's man, right? He's a man's man, he's a tough guy, he plays video games, yeah. he makes crude jokes, he yeah. doesn't like any of this uh, trans business or whatever else, you know, that's our guy. Yeah. Okay, and then what happens is one of these guys who is not our guy yeah. comes out and says, Hey, I know something about your guy. Yeah. Yo, what do you know about my guy? You don't know shit about my guy. He goes, no, no, I do know. Yeah. He got fired <laughs> for having inappropriate messages with minors. And they go, That's bullshit. Hey, you. guy. That's like you're saying that about me. Uh, guy, you didn't <laughs> tell these guys you didn't have inappropriate sexual conversations with minors. Yeah. Go ahead. Come on. Go ahead. He's going to. Hold on. He's, He's going to tell you. Straight. He's going to set you straight. <laughs> Dr. Disrespect. I'm a big, obviously, we don't take this kind of shit from these queers. <laughs> doc, doc, get in here. You've got the, you've got the stage. Just let him have it, Doc. Let him have it. You let him know that you didn't do anything. Tell him, Doc. Tell him. <clears throat> um, uh, there were conversations, um, but uh, nothing illegal was found. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> nothing illegal was found. Take that, libtard. Suck on that, libtard. Suck on that, libtard. Nothing <laughs> illegal was found. Cut and dry. There's <laughs> nothing that could have happened. And then that little, that little swimy libtard goes, ask him who he was talking to. Why don't you just ask him who he was talking to? He yeah. was probably talking to anybody. You don't know. He's the doc. Tell him who he was talking to. He's talking to a 17-year-old year, yeah. <laughs> girl, hot, and, and 11 yeah. months, and, and he, huge tits. And he was telling her how to you know, get a, get into college. He wasn't saying Totally anything. was cool. Totally was cool. And then Dr. Disrespect, who has had seven years Firm since handshakes, was <laughs> the quartering says. Doc. Let me, let's let's ahead, make sure yeah, everyone has ahead. all the context that Dr. Disrespect was fired by Twitch in 2017. I did not believe I could not believe it had been that long. Uh -huh. He's had seven years to prepare for the eventual day that someone goes, "Hey, why'd you get fired, you get fired? from Twitch?" <laughs> <laughs> He's had seven years to think about what he was going to do when that day showed up. Yeah. And apparently he didn't have any plan at all huh. because his answer was, look, did I exchange messages with an individual minor? Of course. <laughs> Were they inappropriate in nature? Absolutely. Yeah. Sexual at times? <laughs> Who <Yes>. can say? <laughs> I'm trying to find it his firm quite handshake. Possibly the worst. Ab like he had all his guys. He had an entire absolute terror field of fucking sentinel simps uh -huh. ready to go. Doctor disrespect is our guy. He would never do this, and for some never, reason, never. instead of just going, yeah, no, uh, instead he comes out and he admits basically to everything in an insane. Can you bring up his response first? Just oh, Doctor disrespect. Yeah, let's read his yeah, response okay. real quick because I, I mean, could it's long. It's really long. I'll burn through. I'll burn through. Ah, the, it's I'll go really to the long, parts. man. I'll go to the quick parts. All There's right. one part. Okay. I would rather laugh at the shit that Quartering Well, we have said. to show what Quartering's responding to. This is insane. Did he say anything else? Here, Hello, Twitch I'd fan. like to make a quick statement. We won't read the whole thing, but... No, no, no. You are done with mice. You are done with... You okay. are done with all okay. electronics okay. in here after okay. that. Okay. Dr. Disrespect. There. This is Dr. Disrespect after, again, rumors come out that the reason he was fired is that he was engaging. He could have also just said nothing. Nothing. That would have been the move. Or he could have said, you know, the rumors that are going around are patently untrue or exaggerated. There's like a million different ways to not say, say nothing. yes, I sexted minors. Yeah, I sexted an individual you, minor. Or, Big deal. Want to fight about it? <laughs> Basically, what he said. What he, said. <laughs> he basically made it sound, and I'm like, and that was the craziest part. Is I went, oh, your guy not only did this, he's aggressive but about he it. It was like not a big and deal. And then the quartering is posting World Wolf of Wall Street gifs. Yes. Like, what are you doing? Well, dude. Okay, so so basically, are you fucked in your head, dude? 
quartering? They are. I, okay, I will say this. They just want a guy to talk <laughs> macho. That's all the American man wants. Yes. Yeah, I ripped those kids. Big deal. Want to fight about it? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so he says he's got to apologize to everybody. Everybody wants to know why I was banned. Can I scroll down to see what he fucking said? I okay, here we go. Down. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? First of all, a uh, minor aged individual, not an individual like minor. <laughs> An individual minor. Uh, back in 2017, the answer is yes. I guess he wants us to know. It was just that one kid I was grooming. Buddy, uh, we want to know the of. age. Because yeah. if you're not saying the age, it's 13. Right. And if you're not saying the gender, it's a guy. <laughs> just like it. <laughs> Uh, quartering and yellow flash. I know you guys are like sweeping each other's nuts on this one really yeah. hard, but let me uh, give you a little fucking clue here. If he doesn't mention the age, the age is not seventeen. The age is thirteen. And if he doesn't say it's, what sex it was, it was a guy. Yeah, he said minor, not girl. It's a little gay boy. It might be a little boy. Well, it has also come out that he was messaging all sorts of trans escorts and whatever oh. else. Uh, anyway, so these were casual. Okay, were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. So what Whoa! that means is... There were intentions. They weren't real. <laughs> they weren't real. I said I was going to fuck this kid, but in reality, I was just going to jack off in front of them. It's not a I big deal. I asked if they were going to the TwitchCon. I really didn't want to know. Yeah, no. <laughs> I asked what they were wearing. Firm handshake. I didn't really care. And then the quartering comes in. Hold on. Let these me just find the firm... Okay. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. I inappropriate is already too much. There's no... <laughs> You don't need it too much How do you inappropriate. Lean in the direction of inappropriate. Why you're you inappropriate. Say they were inappropriate. I think they were inappropriate. I don't think they were leaning towards inappropriate. Times they would gimble or yaw towards <laughs> yon horizon of which Did is I slightly drift towards sexual molestation perchance. <sighs> but did our did our boat make it over the wake line? I, I wasn't would say not no. grooming them. <laughs> <laughs> He had seven years to plan this, and this is what he... Hire a PR firm. What is this? Uh, well, you know, nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. I just talked about my dick. I didn't why would you? Why would you put the picture in there? I wasn't even thinking about pictures. Until I you didn't put know, yeah, why'd you put that in my mind? That no was pictures like, were shared. What was shared then? <laughs> well, that's the thing. Everything... He doesn't... This is one of those dummies who doesn't realize that when you say one thing... Didn't happen. It confirms that a different thing did happen. Did you cheat on me? I didn't come. So when you say, <laughs> yeah, exactly. When you say no pictures happen, I go, oh, so you were describing sex yeah. stuff, obviously. Because like pictures, we know would be bad, but you're like, well, it wasn't pictures. You know, I just said my dick is really hard for you, thirteen year old boy. Because there's no pictures on the Twitch whisper thing. You shared them yeah. in another way. That's why. This is there's this no is, evidence. This of is. It. This is responding to like a predator poacher thing where he goes, I never even met the individual. Yeah, Dude, this is fucking, <laughs> this is Chris Hansen's Chris Hansen. show. Hansen. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I, I'm just here. I, I'm for a laugh. I, I don't, I didn't, well, I wasn't going to do anything. Yeah. I, I had gonna, no real intention. I wasn't going to do anything. I wasn't going to do anything. I wasn't going to do anything. I just showed up. Oh, this is so stupid I of thought me. we would eat pizza and just hang out at TwitchCon. That's it. Uh, the worst part is that at the end of it, he goes, but come on, it's not like I'm a predator or something. I hate them. I, I hate, hate predators. Them. I hate predators as much as the rest of you guys. We're, <laughs> I'm your guy. We all hate predators, right? It's like, dude, you're a predator. What are you talking about? He's completely delusional. You are a textbook predator. <laughs> okay, so this came out. Every normal person went, uh -huh. oh, I was wrong. Yeah. This is not our guy. I'm yeah. done with this being our guy. Every normal person did that. Terminally online, like, children and psychopaths yeah. decided to double down and try to defend this, including the quartering, who first posted uh, that he wanted to give Doc a firm handshake, yeah, which is apparently some sort of strange bro code thing about, like, yeah, man, hey, it was really brave of you to step up and say that you were grooming minors. Way to go, dude. Yeah, really brave that of you. That was really, you know what? He can this, admit when he's you're wrong. Gonna, he, <laughs> That's one of the best things about Jared from Subway. He always admitted when he was wrong. You know, guys, bro, I was wrong. What I did? Look at his mustache. Come Look on. at his mustache. That's cool. The quartering doubled down so hard, <sighs> and then at the end of that Doctor Disrespect thing, he says, "But fuck these guys." He he has this petulant, "I'm not going anywhere" yeah. rant, which yeah. is insane. Yeah. Look, I might have tried to sexually mess with minors. To, they're trying to get but rid of me. They're not gonna cancel me, man. I'm not going anywhere. And the quartering responds with that gif. From fucking uh, Wolf of Wall, Wolf Wall Street. Street. 
where that guy was being convicted of securities fraud and said, I'm not going anywhere. He was, didn't just get Leonardo DiCaprio's uh, character didn't just rape a bunch of kids and go, we're not going anywhere, baby. That character was also guilty. <laughs> yeah, that character was bad. <laughs> he was a bad guy in the movie. He was just stealing people's money. Doc is the Ooh, bad man. guy. Man, these guys have spent how long calling you? Uh, uh, the quartering has called everyone on Earth a pedophile at some point. Dude, the quartering has spent like he's got a like, compulsion. He's getting with raked it. over the coals for going. Firm handshakes, man. You're, you're not, still defending. You're, right. you're not going anywhere. You're. You, this is. And him and like Keemstar are going. Isn't it curious that this news drops the second the LGBTs are trying to push trans stuff on our kids? And I'm like, no, you guys no, are this pushing stuff seven on seven kids. years ago. Like it just can't. It was going to come out eventually, and there was no point in time that it could have came out that there wasn't some trans thing. They're trying to spin it as the like, grooming is happening inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say this. Okay. Okay. Is uh, we give Yellow Flash a lot of shit, and deservedly so. And he also supported. Well, okay, so no, for- he did support. Don't uh, don't run cover for him. I'm not running. It cover doesn't make for you him. a good person. It makes you a liability. I- Yellow Flash also supported this guy. He made a whole video about it. And then when he when people gave him shit, he lied and said, "Oh, I didn't see that it said minor in Doctor Disrespect's tweets. It said minor for all but like ten minutes." Everybody saw it say minor. Right. Yellow Flash made a video supporting him having uh, texted a fucking minor. I didn't. I don't know what the timeline was. He's Apparently- lying about it after he got <laughs> caught. <laughs> Here's what he claims happened: is Yellow Flash made after Doctor Disrespect put this out. Uh huh. He said he made a video, which yeah. I don't think a lot of people saw because he deleted it almost right away. Instantly. Yeah. Yeah. He put out a video. He said. You know, Dr. Disrespect is our guy. Okay. Yeah. That's our guy. We know. And, you know, he might have done wrong, but it's uh-huh. not a big deal. And then he deleted it immediately. And people said, why did you delete it? Now, there was some weird nonsense going on where Dr. Disrespect. Lying. Well, apparently Dr. Disrespect put out that tweet. Mm-hmm. And then he edited it to remove the word minor. Yeah, and he didn't know that that was trash. Which is like, <laughs> yeah, which is like, yeah, oh, first of all, you can see revisions of a tweet. So everyone goes, wait, what word is missing? Oh, why do you remove the word minor? That's and the very first response is, you removed minor. There's no way Yellow, like Yellow Flash is 100% lying. Okay. He knew a minor was there. These guys just compulsively defend their buddies. That's it. Uh, then he edited the word minor back in. So Yellow Flash's defense was when I Within read- Within like 10 minutes. When I read the tweet, he, it did said he had ind- messaged someone, but I didn't know it was minor. And then when mm-hmm. I found out it was minor- Look, I do have to give him the a small bit more credit than the quartering. Ugh. Will you shut up and listen I'm to me? Just, it's just, uh, it's just Will you just let me fucking listen to the point? And, Go ahead. The point is, is that at, at least- I'm going to throw at up. At the very least- It's still bad, but at the very least- Quartering has spent the last two or three days going, what? I tried to give a pedophile a handshake. What's the problem with giving a pedophile a handshake? Everybody likes handshakes. Mm. At least Yellow Flash finally managed to read the room and go, wait, this is not going to work out the way I want it to. Just disgusting <laughs> what you're saying. Just absolutely disgusting. Oh, I'm making the point that Quartering is dumber than Yellow Flash. They're both dumb. I'm not giving either of them a pass. Okay, I'm just saying I did not. You might as well have groomed those kids yourself. <laughs> I'm just saying I didn't realize the quartering was this much dumber than I thought he was. I tried to give a pedophile handshake. Who doesn't give a pedophile handshake? Yeah. What's wrong with that? He ain't going nowhere. That's very strong, <laughs> important thing for him to say. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the problem again, Dr. Disrag is a problem, but the real problem, the real problem was the hypocrisy. No, the real problem is that people get so entrenched in this political mindset and the idea that everybody's got to be on the same fucking team and everyone's got to share the same yeah. opinions. Yeah. And you go, well, there's no way my guy could do anything wrong because he's my guy and he's basically an extension of myself. No, and, Yeah, and uh, if this guy's guilty, I can't call everyone I don't like a pedophile anymore. Right. Shit. <laughs> that really <laughs> fucks up all, all my time. content. Dude, all these people were defending him all week long. I'm like... Why are you guys not considering that this might be true? And they're like, because look at him. He's cool. He's like a guy. He's like a cool guy. He would never molest anybody or fucking And then anything. when it came out, he was trying to fuck a trans woman. And they're well, like, oh, they okay, yeah, yeah now I hate, <laughs> now honestly, I hate him. Honestly, now I hate for him. most of them, I think yeah. messaging an underage uh, girl, they're like, well, you know, it's not great. But I, I can look the other way. When it came out, he was messaging with trans women. They're like, well, this is this just. This has nothing to do with I'm me. I'm done with this now. That's not my guy at all. You know what? It's it is like Eric July though, where like again, 
That's our guy. All that money he made is my money. That's my money. It's like they're they're the fucking avatar or something. We're like mm-hmm. you live vicariously through them. Oh, Dr. Disrespect is succeeding. Vito's losing weight. Everything's great for me. <laughs> Stop it. It's fucking just look. If you like a personality, like a personality, but don't consider them an extension of yourself and defend everything they ever fucking did. I love it. All their whole worldviews are just crumbling. All their retarded It has shit. shattered some people. Uh, fucking uh, Camelot was pissed at me because Camelot was defending Doctor Disrespect. Where he's like, "Oh, oh, this you, you're gonna believe some leftist Twitch uh, SJW saying Doc whatever." It's like this is obviously <laughs> manufactured. And I said to Camelot, "I'm like, yeah, I don't know, but what if he did it?" And Camelot's like, "Oh, oh, well, we're just supposed to believe it. We're just supposed to believe it." I said, "No, but like." You know, it's not like... Well, he hasn't said he didn't do it. Well, here's the worst part. is Somebody said, hey, Doc, did you do it? And he said, no wrongdoing was found. That's not no. Yo, <laughs> say no. <laughs> we, ho, 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 ho. Did you eat this whole pizza? I mean, uh, someone ate it. Someone ate it. Hey, look, what, uh, nothing illegal happened. Well, that means you ate it, <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's been a good week. It's been a fucking crazy week, and it it's is been great. A great week it for is me. great to see all these guys who go. I can't believe Vito made those jokes. He's the worst guy in the world. And you go, hey, and Nick, hey, and all, yeah. and Nick is a bad guy. Yeah. Nick endangered his kids. Hey, hey your, your, guy, your guy was uh, grooming children. Yeah. Well, that's different. I, mean, I don't know. It's, this, I don't it's know. the media that did it. I mean, <laughs> the Twitch, media did that. Twitch has all these uh, chicks in bikinis dancing around for for. Uh, teenage boys, dude. You know that's pretty bad, dude. Oh uh, yeah, dude, that's this, the same. The, the goalpost shifting where they go, yeah, but sh- isn't this really Twitch's fault? Yeah, yeah. No, it's Doctor Disrespect's <laughs> fault for trying to have sex with kids. It's his fault. Okay, yeah. you could say Twitch didn't handle it the best way, but at the end of the day, I don't want to shift the conversation to well, do Melanie Mack was doing that too. She going, you know, why are that we not? Why stupid. are we not talking about you know all these titty streamers on Twitch? Yeah, I'm, I don't know because one of the biggest fucking performers just admitted that he was messaging kids and he doesn't even think there's a problem with it. Yeah, that seems way more relevant right now. You don't need to fucking shift the goalposts because your guy got caught being a fuck. And the reason you're mad is because I know you did shit yourself. I know the quartering has done something. <laughs> the way the quartering, okay, no normal person, okay? No even, normal person would defend even it Even the R guy guys go, well, I can't defend that. That's indefensible. Yeah, that's indefensible. And the quartering's going, well, there was that time I raped that retarded bitch in summer camp, and that wasn't that bad. There's something he something did. Something he did. That he thinks, gonna like, get to the bottom everyone's going to do something. Everything's going to do something. Sometimes uh, you're having sex with a girl and she mouths off and you, you knock her out and you finish and you leave. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's something he did maybe. Yeah, okay. We'll see what it is. We'll see what It'll it is. It'll come out eventually. Did. Yeah. Um, well, that's all very amusing. We're going to find out. I know all these guys have something in their fucking closet. Of course they do. Because there's no amount. You have to be a complete psychopath to uh, fucking make it in this YouTube grift sphere where you're just constantly talking about how everyone else is fucking up and you're the moral barometer for the rest of the world. Okay? And I go, I don't know what you did, but I think you killed somebody. Because the way you talk, you talk like somebody who killed somebody. Well... Dick, if you I told mean, me, hey, I was messaging with this uh, this under, I wouldn't go, oh, cool, here, a firm handshake, I don't bro. Be it. Oh, yeah. Very no. cool. Oh, oh, man. I'm so glad you admitted to it on the internet <laughs> on you. In a big Twitter friend. People do think admitting yeah. that you have a problem is like basically the highest achievement that a man can Most do. Most times when you admit to having a problem, it doesn't end with, but I'm not fucking going anywhere, bitches. I'm yeah. doctor. That was probably the worst part of it was the, the you know, they're trying to say like, you know, I'm a pedophile <laughs> for doing pedophile <laughs> stuff. I do one little bit of pedophile stuff and they call me a pedophile. I don't, I don't think that's fair. I'm not going anywhere. You're like, this, it was delusion. From I, like this that, guy. I liked that the quartering said his cancellation is complete. Yeah, cancel he's culture canceled. is. He got cancel hang, cultured. Uh, no, he's just like a danger to have around kids. And you, you shouldn't be. You, <laughs> people don't want to build his brand up to associate him with like video games and kids stuff. I That's know this why. is a comedy podcast, but when this news came out, I said. You it's know, the funniest shit that's you happened. You know this what week. Twitch needs to do is Twitch needs to have like a yearly <laughs> retreat for all their top creators, and they go, "Look, come out. Tell them it's like a kid's we'll birthday party. We'll give you some merch. Sure, it's a kid's birthday yeah, party. We'll em. give you some merch. They'll be mm-hmm. alcohol, whatever else, and then make them sit in a room and have a fucking lecturer explain to them what the age of consent is and why it's important. Yeah, these people have no inner over. The, the craziest thing out of this was learning this guy does not have a PR team. He does not have any sort of team. It's just him 
yeah. messaging minors <laughs> with zero oversight. That's horrifying. Yeah. Okay? And Twitch and whatever and YouTube or whatever else needs to get all these guys and go, look, please don't fuck. Please st don't try to fuck kids. Don't talk to kids. Don't message kids. If you have kids who are, you know, a fan of you, you go, thanks for being a fan. Buy the merch and never talk to them again. Yeah. Don't interact with them. Don't be friends with them. Don't go, oh, what are you wearing today? Like, you, you stop. Yeah. It's fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah. We get it. Bro. Uh, it's not you're not these people should not be running wild okay well they are okay this is i don't know there's yeah. there's bad if let's put it this way we got to shut down the women in bikinis on it Twitch. took it took it took the dumbest guy in the world to just straight up admit to it imagine the guys who have the brain cells to not you know just go on Epstein. twitter and well yeah basically yeah. imagine how many of these twitch guys are not stupid enough to go on twitter and go oh yeah here's all the minors i've been messaging it's bad it's real bad it's scary stuff all right let's move along thanks for watching this clip this is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.